not a soul in sight. <laughs> this is a sorry looking place. <laughs> this is the saddest place I've been in my entire life. I'm really nervous. The first bite. This is good. Mm. Delish. We're outside Sunrise Organic Coffee Shop. I heard this place is great. It's not quite anywhere near the strip. Um, it was probably about 15 minutes away. I got the Nutella Latte, which is a special today. I'm very excited. Mmm, this is really tasty. I love hazelnut. It doesn't have Nutella in it, it has hazelnut flavor. So it's Nutella type, but it's not actually Nutella. Really good. Right, it's all organic, fair trade. Got a lot of vegan options in the coffee shop too. Really great place. Just nice like environment and just very comfortable, but also kind of feels like a, you know, a real coffee shop. It's really nice inside, so I loved it. Red Velvet Cafe. Las Vegas is way out that way. It's about six miles away. You can't even see it from where we're standing right now, but I hear it's definitely worth the drive. Here are the cheddar bacon fries, which look really delicious. Nice hot mess of cheesy wow. and cheese. Doesn't even taste vegan, which is always a nice thing. Okay, I don't know what kind of bacon that is, but it's good. It's probably real bacon. Yeah, it tastes like real bacon for sure. I love these fries. They are so good. I've never had vegan cheese fries. The taco shell is baked low and calories. very low calories, so it's great. I mean, they really care about what they're putting into the food. They're not just throwing it in there to make it vegan, which is great. That's really good. The meat tastes like real meat. It reminds me of a real taco. It's light. It's not too heavy. Same with the fries. I didn't think the fries were that heavy very full of flavor and I don't feel like I'm yes. gonna be too stuffed. Buffalo chicken wrap. Yeah. Looks so good. Let's see. The chicken tastes like the real thing. Yeah. It's really fresh and really delicious. Is it spicy? Mm-hmm. It's spicy but not too spicy or? Perfect. I'm about to try the signature dish which is the red velvet cake. It's very low in calories and sugar. Mmm. Wow, that seriously is one of the best vegan cakes I've ever had. It's a little warm, it feels like it just came out of the oven. It has this incredible sweet taste to it that, <laughs> I don't, oh my God. The manager um, told me that this cake is gonna make me wanna come back. Absolutely agree, it's fantastic. Yeah. The service is great, but they really focus on nutrition and making healthy, low-calorie food, and not just giving you something that tastes good. They cook all of their vegetarian and vegan foods on a separate grill. They don't use um, spatulas or anything. They no cross-contamination, which is great. They're really careful about everything. They truly care about vegans, and they're big clients of them. So definitely come check it out. It's worth the drive. Here we are at Komal's, the Thai vegetarian. So we're finally inside Komal and it is gorgeous in here. I love the flowers and look at these menus. I was like, wow, this is so cool. All the vegetarian stuff is vegan. It's not a completely vegetarian restaurant though. So here's the Thai iced tea. Mm, I love them so much. Let's see. Wow, that's perfect. This is the um, mushroom tom kai or tom kai. I always forget how to pronounce it. Soup. That's excellent. Not too spicy, got a little bit of sweet in it. It's just got a, a ton of flavor. Spring rolls with soy chicken. Looks good. It's not fried. Better for you. Really nice flavor and uh, can't really taste the chicken so much, but um, it's like really light. The sauce is a really sweet sauce. 
which is really nice over the lettuce. Indian curry, and um, it's yellow curry, which is my favorite. There's potatoes in it, and then some fried tofu. This is sweet and a little bit of spicy, and just a great flavor. Here is the pineapple fried rice, which looks amazing. It's super delicious. Not too heavy in the flavor. You know what I like about this place is it has very authentic flavor. Like a lot of the Thai vegan places, they all taste the same, and you always get the same flavors every Thai restaurant you can go to. This one is just like, it's got its own thing going, so it's very refreshing. The waiter was really nice. His name was Dutch, and he was just really sweet and helpful and just sounded interested and you know, what we were looking for and all of that, which I appreciated. So overall, it was great, as long as you can find this place. It's not that hard to find, it's just that you don't expect it to be in the middle of this section. You kind of expect it to be out on the edge. But when you find it, you'll be glad. It's got a great atmosphere. Everyone's really nice, and the food's excellent.